in the topic photosynthesis there we are discussing about electron transport system so in our previous video we are discussed about structure of chloroplast and also light reaction so result of light reaction it prepares assimilatory power in the form of ATP and NADPH2 so how these ADPs and NADPH2s are formed? So nothing but that is those are formed in electron transport system. It may be non-cyclic electron transport system or cyclic electron transport system. Right? Let us see. This is the chloroplast and it contains membrane structures called as thylakides. Group of thylakide is called as grana so each thylakide contains empty space inside that is called lumen lumen on the thylakide membrane it contains chlorophyll pigments chlorophyll a chlorophyll e b xanthophylls keratinides so in those chlorophyll b xanthophylls and keratinides they act as antenna they receive energy from sunlight and that energy is in the form of photons that energy transfer to reaction center which is act as chlorophyll a so chlorophyll a here act as reaction center and it receives energy from antenna antenna so by taking energy from antenna so that energy transfer to light harvesting complexes so there are two systems are there photo system 2 and photo system 1 Photosystem 2, it is exciting state at photosystem 680 nanometer wavelength. So it is activate at 680 nanometer wavelength and photosystem 1, it is activate at 700 nanometer wavelength. 700 nanometer wavelength. So let us discuss about non-cyclic electron transport system. So in this non-cyclic electron transport system, two photosystems are involved, PS2 and PS1. PS2 is at 680 nanometer wavelength and PS1 is at 700 nanometer wavelength. So by taking energy, by taking energy, photosystem 2, it is exciting state by taking energy. So at the same time, at the same time, towards PS2 and this is the lumen portion. Lumen and this is the stroma region. So now we are here. This is the stroma and this is the lumen. Lumen. So thylakide structure means the MA function is Right? So initially, PS2 is involved in non-cyclic electron transport system. So towards photosystem 2, it contains photolysis of water. That is oxygen evolving complex OEC. Oxygen evolving complex. Oxygen evolving complex OEC. Here hydrolysis of water is occur. It means water split. Water molecule split into H2O splits into two electrons half O2 and two protons two protons the formed oxygen is evolved into the environment and the two electrons they enter into non-cyclic electron transport system through ps2 so it enter, enter to photosystem 2 now photosystem 2 680 nanometer wavelength so it is exciting state because of the taking energy from chlorophyll a so then it receives easily the two electrons from water molecules. So photolysis of water occur in the presence of calcium, manganese, chlorine ions. Okay, now electrons are present near photosystem 2. That electrons are transferred to pheophytin. So pheophytin is the first electron acceptor in non-cyclic electron transport system. So first electron acceptor is pheophytin. It is present towards the stroma side on the thylakide membrane. On the thylakide membrane, it is present towards the stroma. Towards the stroma. Now, by taking electrons, pheophytin is reduced. 
reduced. Now the electrons are transferred from pheophyte into Q cycle. By transferring electrons pheophyte into Q cycle, pheophyte is oxidized. Oxidized, right? PQ, PQ means plastoquinone. It is a Q cycle. It receives electrons from pheophyte in. So actually two electrons are transferred from pheophyte into Q cycle. At the same time, the plastoquinone accepts two protons. For each one electron, it accepts two protons from the stroma. So here two electrons are there. Two electrons are there. So here also two electrons are transferred pheophyte into plastoquinone. So that it receives four protons from stroma. And it convert into plastoquinol PQH2. That is a plastoquinol. Then the reduced plastoquinone transfers electrons to cytochrome B F complex. It is a cytochrome B F complex. It contains iron sulfur containing electron carrier. So cytochrome B F is nothing but it is iron sulfur containing electron carrier. So by taking uh, electrons. Cytochrome BF complex is reduced by transferring electrons to plastoquinone is oxidized. So at the same time, these plastoquinone quinol transfers the protons towards the lumen side. How many protons? Four protons are transferred towards the lumen side. So, so then it converts into PQ. Now, now electrons are present near cytochrome BF complex. BF complex. So the, now that electrons are transferred to plastocyanin PC. It is a mobile electron carrier in between PS1 and the cytochrome BF complex. PC it is a plastocyanin copper containing electron carrier and also it is a mobile electron carrier. Plastocyanin is a mobile electron carrier between PS1 and the cytochrome BF complex. Okay, it contains copper molecule. Now the electrons are received from BF complex to plastocyanin. Then plastocyanin is reduced. Reduced. That electrons are transferred to PS1. So plastocyanin is present towards the lumen side. Plastocyanin is present on the thylakoid membrane towards the lumen side. It is a mobile electron carrier. So it transfers the electrons towards plasto, uh, PS1. That is photosystem 1. So at the same time photosystem 1 receives energy from chlorophyll A at 700 nanometer wavelength then it is exciting state at the same same time electrons are received from plastocyanin that electrons are transferred to some sub intermediate substance a0 a1 fx fa or fb then finally that electrons are transferred to fd that is ferredoxin ferredoxin it is a present on the thylakoid membrane towards the stroma side. Fredoxin is electron carrier present on the thylakoid membrane towards the stroma side. So finally electrons transfer to NADP. NADP. So by taking two electrons from fredoxin, it accepts two protons from the stroma. Then it convert into NADPH2. NADPH2. So here assimilatory power means ATP and NADPH2 is called as assimilatory power. So in this one part is formed here. And what about the ATPs? So now because of this non-cyclic electron transport system, okay, protons are transferred from stroma to lumen side. Stroma to lumen side. So two protons already is there. These are formed hydrolysis of water molecules already two molecules are two protons are there and four protons are transferred from Q cycle then totally six protons are present in the stroma side so it means result of this it leads to concentration gradient of protons in between stroma and lumen lumen contains more number of protons more number of protons these protons so uh, molecules always transfer from high concentration region to low concentration region but thylakoid membrane cannot accept to transfer these protons. So that on the thylakoid membrane a special type of proteins are present those are called as ATPase enzyme. These protons are transferred through ATPase enzyme. Okay. So when three protons are transferred through ATPase enzyme 
it equals to one ATP. It can form one ATP molecule. So then here is six protons are there. So when six protons are transferred through ATP enzyme, it can form two ATPs. It can form two ATPs. So it means in non-cyclic electron transport system, result of non-cyclic electron transport system is two ATP and one NADPH2. One NADPH2. In the scale of on the scale of redox potential. Okay, it appear a Z scheme. So it is called as Z scheme electron transport system. So in this system, first electron acceptor is pheophytin, and final electron acceptor is actually ferrodoxin. It finally reaches NADP and convert into NADPH2. So result is two ATPs, one NADPH2. Here proton transportation is occur through ATP enzyme that is based on chemiosmotic uh, theory based on chemiosmotic theory who proposed Peter Mitchell. Peter Mitchell proposed chemiosmotic theory. So based on that these protons are transferred ATP as enzyme. Then when six protons are transferred through ATP as enzyme, it can form two ATPs. So for three protons equals to one ATP. So when six protons are transferred, then two ATPs are formed. So let us a cyclic electron transport system. So there only only PS1 is involved in cyclic electron transport system. There is no involvement of PS2. So PS2 and PS1 both are involved in non-cyclic electron transport system. Their electrons are transferred from H2O to PS2, PS2 to so pheophytin and finally it reaches NADP. But here in cyclic electron transport system, there is no involvement of PS2. Only PS1 is involved. Right? Then here electrons are transferred to PS12 and it reaches Q cycle. Q cycle. But in non-cyclic electron transport system, electrons are transferred to ferrodoxin. Electrons are transferred to ferrodoxin in non-cyclic electron transport system. But here in cyclic electron transport system, here only PS1. Q cycle, cytochrome BF complex, plastocyrin, PS1. Right? Q cycle, cytochrome BF complex, plastocyrin. Only these are only involved in cyclic electron transport system. So there is no involvement of hydrolysis of water molecule that is OEC complex. Right? OEC complex is present only in near PS2 towards the element side. But there is no OEC complex. There is no hydrolysis of water molecules. There is no liberation of or uh, oxygen liberation of oxygen so that is only occurring towards ps2 and here P in ps1 that is cyclic electron transport system only ps1 is involved ps1 q cycle cytochrome bf complex plastocyanin ps1 so here when electrons are transferred to ps1 to q cycle for each one electron it receives four proton uh, two protons so totally four protons are received to plastoquinone and convert into plastoquinol those four protons are transferred to towards lumen side towards lumen side so result of these only in cyclic electron transport system only four protons are transferred from stroma to lumen side stroma to lumen side but in non cyclic electron transport system already two protons are present in the uh, process of hydrolysis of water molecules totally six protons are there but here in cyclic electron transport system only four protons are formed are transferred to stroma to lumen side so when these four protons are transferred through atp as enzyme it forms only one atp it forms only one atp so in a cyclic electron transport system result is only one atp and there is no formation of there is no formation of nadp uh, h2 nadp h2 because of uh, towards the ps1 there is no nadp reductase enzyme NADP reductase enzyme. Actually, this uh, cyclic electron transport is system is it is an extra process. Already in green plants, when plants are require more energy, more assimilatory power, then those plants are forms another uh, cyclic electron transport system. So there is no NADP reductase enzyme. There is no involvement of NADP. So that only uh, ATP is only formed. So electron cyclic electron transport system result is only one ATP only one ATP these protons are these protons are transferred through ATP as enzyme let us discuss that in chemiosmotic hypothesis thank you